So you're probably wondering just who is Mark Klusman and why does Elder have a day named in his honor? In a nutshell, Mark was an Elder grad who served our country, who taught at Elder for nearly 50 years, and who died following an accident while doing community service in Price Hill. Mark was a real quiet guy, someone who would probably be embarrassed with a day named in his honor. Because Mark, it wasn't about getting credit for a job well done, it was about getting the job done well. Mark was someone you knew was always going to do the right thing, even if it was unpopular or something difficult to do. He was always true to his values of kindness to all and helpfulness for everyone. Mark lived Altiora. It's good for Elder to honor Mark's memory with the day in his honor. Mark was very generous to Elder High School over all the years. When the school designated the gifts from the annual alumni and friends gifts to go to the students of need who needed tuition assistance, Mark was one of the first to step up to the plate and to increase his gifts substantially every year. So Mark was always willing to help the students in any way possible while he was an elder. I don't know if people would see him as an emotional guy, as they say, as, even as a teacher. He was a, he was a quiet fella. Um, and he often did not know the, um, the most uh, popular students because he didn't go out of his way to get to know the popular students. Uh, he was there uh, for the kids uh, who were struggling um, academically, socially, in whatever way. And um, kids sort of knew that they could drop in at uh, Mr. Klusman's office. And he was always here after school. And he was always available. And um, so the kids who um, needed a friend, he was there. He was there for them. And uh, he somewhat got a reputation among the kids. Yeah, you can, you can go talk to Mr. Klusman. Um, and maybe that is... Uh, even above his service activity and above his involvement in Kairos, the um, approachability that this, this guy had um, was, was outstanding. And um, he was there for the kids who needed it the most. During my 40 years of teaching at Elder, Mark Klusman evolved from just the teacher down the hall to one of my best friends. You know, Jesus took the Ten Commandments and reduced them down to just one simple statement, love God and love your neighbor. Anyone exemplified that, it was Mark Klusman. Any event, any task that needed support and help, Mark would be there, usually long sleeves, rolled up and ready to work, and expecting no kind of recognition after the event was finished. You know, when I have a decision to make, I usually think about the fact, how would Mark handle this? What would he have done here? Mark accepted people just the way they were. Mark exemplified St. Francis, and his whole idea was when Francis said, preach the gospel, and if you have to, then use words. Mark was that kind of man. I'm sure Mark went to sleep every night with a very satisfied mind. He would do anything for anybody no matter how busy he was, he made sure that he took the time to get done whatever was asked of him. And I've tried to emulate my life based on how Mark lived his life um, and specifically how he treated other people. Over the years, Mark gave his all. He shared his time, talents, and treasures with Elder High School. And he selflessly gave his life in serving his alma mater and the community. It's great to have known Mark, a great gentleman. I miss, I miss most about um, Mark, his reliability that I know that when he told me he was going to be someplace or he was going to be available 
you could count on it. And people would say over and over that, um, yeah, when Clue says he's going to do something, he's going to do it. Uh, life is a gift. Uh, who you become is your choice, not what you become.